lesson in Photoshop, I want to talk about two features. I want to talk about something called the Spot Healing Brush and something called Content Aware Fill. And they kind of both have their place. So I was with my son down at the lake and we took this photo. Just a basic kind of cell phone photo. Uh, but I grabbed a couple extra things that maybe I didn't want in the picture. So I have these um, old dock pilings that are in the back as well as this kind of floating log and then whatever this thing is over in the corner. So I'd like to remove those things from the photo. Now, in previous years in Photoshop, this might be something we would tackle using something like the stamp tool that we have over on the toolbox, the clone stamp. Um, but over the past few years, we've actually had something called the spot healing brush, which makes these types of removals uh, very easy. So I wanna show you how simple this is. If I click the spot <clears throat> healing brush, which is found along the toolbox here, here it is, little band-aid, okay, so called spot healing brush. You can set your brush size along the control panel at the top to whatever size you like. The size is appropriate for what I'm trying to remove. And then with my mouse, even though there's two different sets of backgrounds happening here, I have water at the bottom part of this pillar and I have uh, mountain at the top. So as long as I just click and hold and drag over top of the whole object and I let go, poof, disappears. It's like you're performing magic in Photoshop. Let me show you how easy that was again. So again, I'm gonna just drag over top of that object I wanted to remove and it's gone. This one over here, we're getting a little bit close to the mountains, but I wanna sample it accordingly. So if I just click over that one because the brush was big enough for the object, it's gone. Now this one's gonna prove to be a little bit more difficult for a brush. And I could zoom in, that would work and make my brush a little bit smaller, but I just wanna show you, if I drag along there, and I let go, you see it's kind of gotten a little mixed up here. And what's happening is the brush actually samples pixels that are all around the brush and um, the, the samples, the items you're trying to remove, which would be part of that selection. So what it's done here is it's replicated part of the hat over top of the area I wanted to remove and part of the mountains down. When in reality, if I just undo that, this thing is completely covered up by just the water. So I just want to use the water to remove it. So a brush in this case is kind of hard to be accurate enough in order to remove that item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a selection. So with a lasso or whatever tool you'd want, I'm just going to create a relatively crude selection around the area that I'd like to remove. And you see that I've sampled the water and the object that I'd want to remove. At that point, what I can do is I can go to the edit menu and choose fill. And what we would do is we'd set our contents. Under our contents here, you're going to say use something called content aware, which is essentially the same thing that this spot healing brush does. So we're going to set it to use content aware. I'm going to click OK and you can see it really does a nice job of removing that object. I'm going to zoom back out and there's now the retouched image with the items that I don't want in it removed and we're ready to go. So through the use of the spot healing brush as well as the edit fill and using content aware we can remove these items so so quickly in Photoshop. Give it a try. It's unbelievably easy to use.